OK, in the previous lesson, we, uh, we reached this position where we just run this. We get these memory addresses coming out to this memory pattern there. Now what we'd like to do is we'd like to set up three special variables called pointers. And these um, are going to conflate a lot of um, analogies. But we want to take our pile of memory bricks. I want you to think of a vast array of um, safety deposit boxes, each of which has a hexadecimal um, address on the front. Now when you get an int hexadecimal address, you'll get a key to the, uh, to, the, to the safety deposit box, and there'll be four safety deposit boxes at that position knocked together with the insides knocked together. So there'll be four safety deposit boxes accessed with one key. At the, that will be the key for the you know, number on the front, hexadecimal number on the front. And inside those four knocked together safety deposit boxes, there'll be an integer. So that's what we've got uh, stored inside there. Same for a float, which will again take four safety deposit boxes knocked together, and a double which has eight safety deposits knocked to, uh, boxes knocked together. And there's three keys. Now you can cut copies to those keys, and we call those copies pointers. I know that's, for those who know, that's stretching an analogy maybe too far, but let's see how we get on with this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to set up an integer but a special style. And say so this is a special thing. It, it's going to be a pointer to an integer. It's a special variable. The star says this is a special variable. It's a pointer to an integer, and it's going to point to the address of the integer we set up in the previous lesson. Hmm. That star says special variable. It's a pointer to an integer, and we're going to set it equal to the address of the integer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a key, we're going to take the key to this safety deposit box, remember which has four safety deposits knocked together, accessed by one key. We're going to cut a copy of that key, and then we're going to put it inside here, that copied key inside here, so that when we open up this place, and look inside, we'll find a key with another address on it. It's a bit like the Da Vinci code. And then we'll go to this address and find out what's inside there. So it's a bit like a magical mystery tour. Let's do the other um, the other two things as well. So we're going to have a float pointer. Now we need to say what we're pointing at, because we're telling C++ how long the thing is that we're pointing at. So int pointer, we said we're going to point at a thing which is four bytes long. Float pointer. Now I'm very hairy as a as a Discordian type. I'm very hairy with my naming conventions, but again, I do typically have a P in front of pointers just so I know what I'm playing with later. And that's going to equal the address of my float that I did that we set up earlier. And finally, I'll have a double pointer. Oh, yes, of course. I need to just put. Uh, no, P floats is a good name. P double, and that's pointing at the double variable I set up earlier in the previous lesson. Okay, we've got a bit of fun and games here. It's all compiling. This is just a warning saying you're not using it actually yet, not using. Now what we can do is we can print out what these values actually are. So let's uh, let's copy one of these um let's copy one of these things and then play about with it just to it's a similar kind of structure. So we'll say the first one, I want the actual value of p int. And here, oh, well, let me just change this myself directly. I want the value of p double. Now we don't want the address of that yet. We'll get that in a minute. I want what's, what's actually inside these safety deposit boxes. Let's line them up so we can see what's going on later. So let's print that out, see what we get succeeded hooray now notice what's inside there are addresses if that's a bit of a stretch let's just repeat this but we'll do it with the variables themselves so let's do it with the variables 
an int, because we didn't actually do this earlier, did we? A float, a double, an int, a float, a double, and print those out. They all contain numbers. A zero, a zero point zero, which is displayed as zero, smallest output, and a zero. These safety deposit boxes, so these four knock together safety deposit boxes, contain a zero. These safety deposit boxes, knock together, contain a copy of a key to the other thing, to the integer. Now notice if we, um, actually it's probably best if we've made this point I think, so we'll comment this, uh, this stuff out because we've kind of made that point. And this again. Notice what the address of an int is. There's the address of an int. Notice it ends in it, we won't do all of it, but it ends in AC. Look what's inside p int. An address. And it's the same address. So it's pointing at the address. It's a copy of a key which opens this safety deposit box. Now that's a pretty big thing, that could get pretty big. What we would like to do now is find out the size of these um, the size of these pointers. Now remember the integer was four long, the float was four long and the double was eight long. What's the size of these things? So print out the size. So I'm a bit any retentive about lining things up. The size of that, the size of that, and the size of that. Copy this code. Put the brackets on the end. I think it hopefully will work. Oh no. The zero bracket. Let's run that. How big are these things? All four of them are eight bytes long. So when we go to this safety deposit box, we look inside. It's eight safety deposit boxes knocked together, and inside a long bag of dollars. No, <laughs> a long address, a very big key with an address printed on it. We can take the key out, which has this address printed on it. And then we go off to the place where the address is, and we open that up, and inside there, we'd find the zero that we've we've uh, we've commented out. So let's um, do. We need one more. Yeah, we need the address. Let's find out the address of these things as well. Now I don't think we'll need the size again. If we could just remember that these pointers are always eight this version of C++. So let's let's comment this out as well because it's we don't need to remember that. Well we need to remember it we just don't need to keep seeing it again and again. Let's just run that. Okay now what I would like though is I would like the address of these things. Where are these pointers um, safety deposit boxes actually hiding? So let's um, let's find out where their addresses are. So the address, the address, you know, a piece of paper in a detective novel saying where, where to find the safety deposit box. It's a uh, central station box, whatever. Let's find out where they're living. Okay, their addresses are different, notice. Now, let's have a look at a few addresses. The value inside that the these three values are key, so let's let's draw a memory map out. You'll notice most of this has changed, so 6C, that's good. So 6C, 6860. These are at 5 and 4, so these E's have all changed to 6. These E's have all changed to 6. 
one, two, three, four. These Fs have all now changed to seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. These Ds have all changed to five. <clears throat> and we have as well, because We'll just put the fours in as well, just for fun. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and we'll put a divider in as well. And we'll copy this, stick it on the front there. And these have all moved along, haven't they, as well? So this double, where's this double living? It's living at six zero. So let's move this along until it's underneath six zero. Which is there, and then line that one up there. So the memory addresses will change. I think that's a current map, which is great. Where are the pointers? The pointers are living here at five eight. They're all eight bytes long, so that five eight is uh, is here. So this is the pointer to the int. Eight bytes long. It's living there and what does it contain it contains something that ends 6c 6c is here and it's the address of this safety deposit box containing the zero so let's just put that in so what does it contain it contains something that points at the address ending 6c let's just put a little marker in there so we can visualize this. What about this one? The float variable um, starts at 6, 8. No, it contains 6. <laughs> I'm losing it myself now. Starts at 5, 0, which is here. Great stuff. So let's put the marker in and say that this is the P for the float, P for the float, P for the float, P for the float. P what does it contain? It contains something which ends 6, 8, which is here, which is the float, which is fantastic. So it contains something which points at an address ending in 6, 8. And the final one before we end, where's the double pointer living? The double pointer lives here um, at position 4, 8, which is here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. P D P D P D P D. And it contains something which ends six zero, which is where? Which is there and there, which is the double which contains the zero. So let's just talk about let's just put that in just to finish this off. So actually let's put all these markers in. Just to break it up a bit. Just need to move this along one, don't we? So this needs to move along one. This needs to move along one. Move along one, move along one. Come back one. Like playing musical chairs. So let's just talk about the double one before we finish. The special variable P double, which is a pointer, is eight bytes long. It lives at memory address something something four eight and inside itself it contains an address, contains a key, we take the key out then we go and look for the other safety deposit box sorry six zero there and we go and look at that, oh, oh I've messed up here haven't I, big time so I need to just move these along and This contains a pointer which is going towards um, 6C. This one contains a pointer which is pointing at 6, 8. And we go there and we find that we have the, um, the double value. So 6D goes to there, bang, we're done.